The prosecutor of the International Criminal Court is vowing to stand firm after U.S. President Donald Trump authorized sanctions against the court, which is probing suspected war crimes by U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Fatou Bensouda, originally from the Gambia, told VOA that she would not be swayed by U.S. actions from prosecuting international war crimes. These attacks constitute an escalation and an unacceptable attempt to interfere with the rule of law and the court's judicial proceedings. An attack on the ICC also represents an attack against the interests of victims of atrocity crimes, for many of whom the ICC represents the last hope for justice. Trump called the ICC stance an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo noted that the U.S. is not party to the court and warned allies from NATO countries that they too could be targeted for their actions in Afghanistan. Uh, in March, when the ICC's the investigation ICC was first authorized, authorized Pompeo slammed the, the court as being Taliban politically motivated. This is a truly breathtaking action by an unaccountable political institution masquerading as a legal body. It is all the more reckless for this ruling to come just days after the United States signed a historic peace deal on Afghanistan, which is the best chance for peace in a generation. Indeed, the Afghan government itself pleaded with the ICC not to take this course. But the ICC politicians had other goals. The sanctions could impose financial and travel restrictions on ICC employees and their families. Ben Suda had her visa to travel to the U.S. revoked last year, but said she has been able to visit New York to brief the U.N. Security Council on her office's work. The uh, visa restrictions, the threats and the other measures that are announced by the U.S., I see as naked attempts to interfere with the court's judicial and prosecutorial independence to meet political objectives and we regret the aggressive positions that has the position that has been taken by the US government not least given the country's long standing contribution to the field of international criminal justice and we hope that it will be reconsidered Critics of the ICC say it is solely authorized to prosecute crimes when national courts are unable or unwilling to do so. U.S. military courts have tried service members and convicted soldiers for crimes committed in Afghanistan. Brent Schaefer, a senior research fellow at the Heritage Foundation, says the U.S. has done a good job for holding its soldiers accountable. He told Fox News that the U.S. has complied with its obligations under domestic and international law, including the Convention Against Torture. Ben Suda said that the court is accustomed to anger from countries being investigated. Because of the nature of our work, because we are challenging the status quo, because we will exercise our jurisdiction without fear or favor, we will expect this pushback. It is not going to be the last time that this is happening to the court. In recent years, a number of African heads of state have criticized the court for disproportionately targeting Africans and called for African countries to withdraw from the ICC. Salem Solomon, VOA News, Washington.